Alright guys, welcome on back. We, uh, figured, uh, okay, I know who Gramps is now. I know who Gramps is now. He's that old dude we ran into. We want to go, yep, there. Okay. Yeah, we moving and grooving, son. Hey. This should be my home. Is that skull and brain human? Yes. And the meat? That too. Plates. A mug. That don't get agitated. Listen to my reasons. What reasons might a cannibal have? You look pale. Care to eat something? Tell me about the Mage's Tower. Why does it interest you? I need to get inside. An ambitious goal. And ambition is key in life. I'm too tired to explain everything, but I like you, son. There's a book in my trunk. Read it, and you'll know what I know. Thanks, Gramps. I truly wonder if you'll succeed. What was that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. If my senses don't deceive me, a storm approaches, son. <laughs> You're not making much sense. I know nothing more. It was so long ago. I'm, I'm old. I don't remember. You remember when the mage was alive? You're strong, surrounded by the light of glory. You know victory and love. Your foundation's firm, you have principles. Though a mutant, your mind and soul are no worse. Your wisdom and understanding will now be tested. <laughs> You're crazy, Gramps. I'm hungry again. I'm looking for a child, the brickmaker's little boy. What are you implying? Just asking if you've seen him. Well, I don't know anything about that. And I don't like children. I find that hard to believe. Uh, okay. Hmm. Shut up, you son of a bitch. You look pa You don't deserve to live. Well, you you can always kill me, but I'm I'm of greater use alive. I've vast knowledge and I know this swamp well. Kill him or let him go. He's a cannibal. Die, monster. All right. Where you going, son? Where are you running to, huh? Where are you running? Where are you running? Oh, oh no.
across the map, son of a biscuit. Man, sure wish I could just teleport. Way over now. Wind blade. Wind blade. Farewell. Hmm. What is it? Aren't those wyverns? Wyverns, indeed. How did you master them? Tamed them through hard work. I guarantee they're not drugged or their wings clipped. See for yourself. Any accidents? Only the fool who tried to brush a wyvern's teeth. I see. Any other questions? Welcome to the Druid's Grove, Traveler. Greetings. Marvelous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a Witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Oh, Ooh, an elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. I'm looking for Witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima, where I'm not welcome. As a Witcher, you should find little difficult. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Vivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then... I'll do it. I'm going to... Thank you. In what is it? I seek a boy missing from the Brickmaker's village. I've not seen him. The Brickmakers claim you change children into dryads. Fools! Only adults are accepted here. Children would only trouble us. As for dryads, ask them yourself. I seek information on the Mage's Tower. There is power inside. Alas, it cannot be penetrated. Has anyone tried? 
Many. But common thieves and mages know not how to open the door. And you do? In the swamp, perhaps you've noticed old stones bearing strange symbols. They are nodes of powerful energy. Lines of energy intersect at a strange place. At the tower? Look for yourself. Thank you. Old secrets are best left alone. That tower is cursed. Know where I might find a copy of Ain so far? Ask that madman, Gramps, who collects anything he finds. Might even have that book. I'll check. Mercy. Hmm. Wind blade. I seek a boy. The brickmakers claim druids seized him to transform him into a dryad. Only girls can be dryads. No boys here. Just wanted to make sure. I would show you where young dryads come from, but... Yes? I wish to remain faithful to the Brocolon tradition. We only take in men to procreate and just the strong and agile. We want the girls born of their seed to inherit their father's fortitude. I've been accused of many things, but lack of physical prowess is not among them. I believe you. But the ritual requires a man to prove himself a skilled hunter. Bring me a wolf's pelt. You have proved yourself a skilled hunter, yet one obstacle remains. What's that? Witchers are sterile. We dryads don't acknowledge intimacy without procreation. Intimacy without procreation can be good. How? A couple entwined might mix the soil they lie upon, giving improved plant growth. Nonsense. Come back when you're wiser. <laughs> so green. I'm still angry.
The druids didn't take your boy. If I find him, I'll see to his safe return. The boy is gone. A warning to all. We must prepare. Prepare for what? The Water Lords and I! A new customer. Come aboard. Take me to time. Ready to... I wouldn't have... What's going on? We're arresting him for collaborating with terrorists. Him? A Scoia'tael warrior? His nephew was in the very unit the Order captured. The same unit that slaughtered villagers near Vizima. No, oh, it's a mistake. My nephew is young and foolish, not a murderer. Was. He's hanging already. Before dying, he admitted contacting you. Glad we caught them before they managed that weapon shipment. Aaron, a true patriot, lost his life luring them into a trap. Gather your belongings, Vivaldi. You can grieve in the dungeon. I wanted no part of the business between the Hawker and the Scoia'tael. The fools gave me no choice. Fearing the revenge of the Scoia'tael, Heron betrayed the whole unit. Probably thought he'd be safe, get a reward. The young non-humans will be carrying for ravens and crows. The only true victors in this conflict, for someone is sure to avenge the freedom fighters. Use their deaths. Take just revenge for the cause. And the scavengers will be fat and sated. Ravens and crows.
Yes? Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophy's involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witches exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. Yes? Know anything about the- No, it's only Viva- How so? You all- That ex- Really? How are you- Ever considered- My profession- You see- Go on. I'm I- You- I wouldn't- Hardly- Farewell. Can I talk to Vivaldi? No chance. Anyone arrested for dealing with Skyatel is a political prisoner. He's just an old dwarf. Why are you standing up for him? I need to talk to him. Pay the 200 bail, and I'll let him out. You can do whatever you want then. Here's your coin.
chased him and he disappeared. And we're gonna run all the way back to talk to him. What brings you here? I have a message for you from Yevin. Yevin? I don't need to read it. I know what he wants. Witcher know that whether elf, human or dwarf, they all want the same thing. Power. My distant cousin Rudolf is a shepherd. His entire life he has driven 300 sheep from one place to another. He's the master of their life and death. Somehow I don't envy him. Brilliant response. Return later, after I prepare my answer to Yevin. <laughs> I've no time. I've no time. Yeah, we'll go back later. I don't say how much later, so... Geralt, we need to talk. What is it? Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner, one of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shani, for understanding. Just watching out for you. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I... Visit me at home. The hospital. See ya. Whatever you do, don't. Any rooms? Five orange. <laughs> 